Hey gents, today we are talking about RM Williams and this is not their box uh, necessarily. This is one of the most requested brands on the channel so I'm really excited to dive into it. There's not a lot of reviews out there on the web because they're not like the modern D2C brands where they like engage with bloggers or YouTubers and so this box here was actually coordinated through friend of the channel, Daniel. When I say that you guys are the best, like I mean you guys are the best. Daniel and I have done a lot of emailing and DMing over the past few years, have become, we actually met in person when I did a meetup in San Francisco, and he went back to Australia to visit family. You uh, taped this up pretty good, Daniel, for a good unboxing, but he went to their factory seconds and was able to get me some. Now, I went to a shop in Pittsburgh, like a little, one of those shoe stores that like you never see anymore, it's called the Nettleton Shop down on Market Square. If you're in the area, you gotta go see it. It's a boutique little shoe retailer that just has really great, like they have Carmina and Alden and they have on running shoes and they have RM Williams. And I talked to the shop owner probably for about an hour about RM Williams and got the lowdown from his perspective, but then also got to try on the shoes, make sure I got my sizing because I really only have one shot at this. And then I was able to get their kangaroo leather in their boot. So let's get these on. We'll talk a little bit more about the company and uh, show you what they look like on the foot. There we go. And to be clear, I paid for the boots, but uh, Daniel did all of the legwork to get this stuff set up and then he, he even got me some shoe trees in there. But get the oil resistance and sole there. I mm, love a fresh boot. All right, but let's get him on the foot, talk a little bit more about R.M. Williams. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's like a Chelsea boot shoe tree. Look at that. R.M. Williams is an Australian company founded in 1932. They're currently owned by LVMH, which is a lux you know, the luxury house for Louis Vuitton, Moet Hennessy, and they make beautiful shoes. And it's positioned as a luxury brand, partially by being the owner of LVMH, but their heritage is in making incredible handmade riding boots. And if you're looking at any of their boots, you're looking at basically $500. They are introducing new lines that are a little more style forward. The prices aren't quite as high as your 495 for a Chelsea boot, but you can see, and what I saw when I went into the boot shop is that you are getting all $500 worth in value. It's just that it takes great materials to make great boots like that. And the heritage of ri boot riding means you can get some riding boots from them as well. But they're really known for their Chelsea boots. They have some other models, but they're also known for using exotic leather. So you can get your standard cowhide leather and calfskin from them, but they also do chinchilla. I got this kangaroo model and they're always using some different things, which is what you get from a boot maker that is still based in Australia. Now it is said that there's a large portion, maybe 50% of their boots that are made outside of Australia, especially some of their bags and accessories accessories and things, but the heart of the company is a bootmaker out of Australia, and that's what we are looking at here. And in talking to the Nettleton shop owner and two other independent shoe companies here in the area, Arm Williams is like, it's tough to get. Some of these brands are just starting to carry them. They are in some department stores and they have 50 stores worldwide, which for a shoe brand is very small. And it's tough for them because what I've been told is there's basically one guy that runs the entire country for RM Williams for order and fulfillment, which means he's probably overloaded with work, but there's also not a lot of clarity in if the shops order a product, even for a customer, like if they need this model of kangaroo in this size, how long it will take, because a lot of that stuff is made to order, when it's gonna get here, and so there is frustration around the brand, which is probably another reason why you don't see it much online, is because you, it's not that easy to get your hands on, and even in the shop, the two shops that I went into to try them on, only one of the shops had the specific model I was looking for because they basically buy one of each size in each color and so they had sold the one and he was he had waited four months to get a replacement of that single one and so that's probably why you see a little bit of frustration and a lack of awareness online except for the hardcore enthusiasts or someone from Australia they're definitely gonna know who R.M. Williams is and the way they do their sizing is based on UK sizing so for me I typically wear an 11 and a half or a 12 D in my Allen Edmonds, depending on the last. And in these, I wear a 10 plus. Instead of having half sizes, they have 10 and 10 plus. And because UK sizing is a full size down, based on their Gardner model and this last, I wear a 10 plus. So if that helps you at all with sizing, I did try on four different pairs in the shop to try and get, you know, am I a 10, am I a 11? A 10 and a half fit really well. And 
Luckily, these ones fit just fine. I'm also excited I was able to get a kangaroo model through this way because most shops, in order to carry it, have to have a specific game license because it is an exotic animal. And I've talked about this before, my Harrison Australia wallet, which is kangaroo leather. Kangaroo leather is extremely thin, but also some of the strongest leather that is available. And so I love that property about this wallet, just showing you how thin it is there, but also very durable, solid. And to have that in a Chelsea boot, I'm very excited because this is another boot for me that is gonna be a lifetime boot. I'm gonna be six, five and a half with these boots on. <laughs> I really like the feeling of the fit. I was struck when I was trying these on just how comfortable the last is as I was wearing them. And this is definitely the highest heel of any shoe that I have. So not only is it gonna put me up into the rafters even more than I already am, like I'm 6'4 normally, this adds almost an inch and a half. Now, if it was my first pair of Chelsea boots, it would probably be tough to wrap my head around getting the style and everything, but as I've talked about on the channel, I've definitely evolved. I'm, I love the look of Chelsea boots. They're a different look than if you're used to Oxfords and Derbies, or even something like an Iron Ranger, but I really like the way these look with slacks. I, you know, wearing these with like a matchstick slim, you know, dark denim, something like that, I can definitely see getting a lot of wear out of these, and having the comfort or the thought of it being a very durable kangaroo leather is, is exciting. And a boot that's priced at $500, having the premium materials and the elastic, because I have my Thursday boots now are two and a half years old so the elastic starts to wear out and if you go even lower end in some of the Aldo shoes or any of the mall store brands they'll usually cut costs at the elastic they'll tend to wear out but having something like this looking forward to if you're looking for an incredible boot with the heritage of a boot maker like RM Williams I hope this brings it to your attention if you didn't already know and if you're already a fan of RM Williams love to hear from you down below uh, I bet there it's kind of like the Alan Emmons group it's like there's guys in there that have two dozen pairs of Alan Emmons shoes. I'm sure there are entire closets full of RM Williams, which is very cool. I'm interested to see where the brand goes from here, trying to be a little bit more stylish, a little bit more, uh, open up their customer base and going through the LVMH group. And I know it's been up for sale, so a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, love to hear from you guys as always down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Mm -hmm.